This is a research lab. I'm an inventor. I have a company called Johnson Research and Development that I've set up as a incubator for advanced energy technology. These are battery recyclers. So everywhere you, there's a little plug-in point, we connect the battery, we can charge and discharge, and it's all computer controlled. If we're gonna rely on renewable energy sources like the wind and the sun, you need to capture that energy when it's available and store it. And so it was clear to me that batteries would be a very important component of that. My company is probably the only company in the world that has a really true solid state battery that is scalable. Lithium ion has improved over the years, but we're still about twice the energy of lithium ion. It's been literally over 20 years of work to get to this point. The other technology is this new type of engine that I've invented. We call it the JTEC, the Johnson Thermo Electrochemical Converter. The idea is to be able to produce electricity effectively in a renewable, sustainable way, and then be able to store that electricity in the batteries. If we're successful, we could have a huge, huge impact. So we don't need to use fossil fuels anymore in the environment. The world can start to heal itself. As a child, I've always been interested in how things work, uh, always interested in creating and building and making things. And so I guess I've wanted to be an inventor or an engineer even before I knew it was called engineering or inventing. The prototype that I had had a Coke bottle on top and it was PVC pipe and all the parts were handmade. The Super Soaker 50 from Laramie. When I got the idea for the gun, I was at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena working on the Galileo spacecraft. I was trying to develop a heat pump that would be environmentally friendly. And while I was experimenting with that, I machined some nozzles and I had these hooked to the bathroom sink and I shot the stream of water across the bathroom. I thought high performance water gun would be a lot of fun. It went crazy and by 1992, 10 years later, it was the number one selling toy in the world. Now that vision has come full circle, I am working on advanced energy technology. In terms of what I'd like to be known for, someone who was given a gift and chose not to waste it and squander it and chose to apply it in a, in a useful way to get back and, and try to make the world a better place.